I'm going to show you how to have a little bit more control with outputting decimals in the format that you really, really want them to be in. Um, so it's, it's appropriate that we're going to be looking at uh, the decimal formatter class. So if I just run this right quick, um, you'll see things don't look exactly the way that I want them to. I've got hourly rate, I've got gas price, and I've got pi. But let's say I wanted to only see the first two decimals in the price of gas. Let's start with that one. That will be our first, first goal. Well, if you want to use a decimal formatter object, you need to make sure that you import good old-fashioned java.text.decimal format. So I have that right here. Again, that's java.text.decimal format. Don't forget to say the word import. Okay, so it's grayed out right now. Uh, I'm using IntelliJ, but what I can do now is I'm going to make a decimal format object, so an object of type decimal format. Typically, people will call it DF. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, so we're going to make a new object, and now what we want to do, let's say I want to output the price of gas, and I really, really want it to be to just two decimal places. By the way, I don't know if you realize this, gas actually does have nine-tenths of a cent on the end. It's really, it's really interesting, but you only get to see electronically at the gas station the first two decimal points. So let's say this is the pattern I want. Um, so I've made my decimal format object, and then the pattern is a string where I say that I want a certain, certain dollar amount. Let's zoom in over here. I want a certain dollar amount followed by um, a certain amount of cents. I only want to go two decimal points to the right. Okay, So I'm going to create my decimal format object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that object to format my price of gas. Okay, So I'll call this, this will be a string now, I'll call it string. Uh, gas formatted. Now in gas formatted, I'm going to use my decimal format object. If I do take the object, I dot it. I'm going to now use the format with price of gas. So I'm going to take the object that I want to format. That's going to be the argument into my format method with my decimal format object. So now, if I want to, I can print out gas formatted. And we're going to be getting a little bit closer to our goal here. So now if we run this, we should only see $3.92. Oh, and it actually even rounds. Oh, so that's helpful. Um, I guess that is, that's its own can of worms. Um, it's helpful that it rounds. But actually, that's not what gas stations do. Um, that's not really the focus of this video, but that could be interesting for another video. But so as you see, it rounds, and it goes to the amount of decimal points that you want. So now we have gas price, 3.93. Okay, so we got that to two decimal places. Let's say we also wanted our hourly rate. We can still use our same decimal formatter object. I remember once upon a time, I, I thought I would always need I would always need to use like a new object. No, I'm just going to use the same object. I remember I used to do that with the scanner class. I'm just going to now have uh, a new object, a new uh, variable called rate format, and now I'm going to put my hourly rate in as the argument. All right. So now instead of my hourly rate, apparently there's some weird decimals there. I just want to go to two decimal places. Typically, that's what we as humans want to do with our money. And now I can throw in rate formatted. And so now we're printing things even better than before. So we'll run this. Always run your code a lot. Let's check out our rate formatted. Hey, there's our hourly rate, $123.46. Notice again how it rounded up. Um, and it had that appropriate format because that's what we specified. Um, now what's interesting is if we wanted to go a 
let's say we want to go to five decimal places just for funsies. Let's see how this looks. Notice how we actually said we wanted to format larger than the decimals that we had, so it just gave us everything we had. Um, but typically you want to go for two decimal places if you're messing with money. Now, what if I wanted pi to go to, I don't know, um, four decimal places? Well, I've already made my decimal format object, and it, it has the appropriate pattern. Let's say I want to keep that. I'm going to make another decimal format object. Let's call it uh, for pi. Now I'm going to specify the format here. That pattern, I just I want to go for four decimal places. So now I've got that new format. And just for fun, just to show you that we can just throw this in here, we could just call on our new object. It's called for pi. That's a decimal format object. And then I can call the format function, and I'm just going to toss in my pi variable. And it's going to format it appropriately. So it's kind of nice. OK, so I, you notice how earlier I made my like formatted variables. I could just throw this all in, and it will just get returned in my print statement. You'll see it. Pi is approximately. Let's run it. So four decimal places with rounding, 3.1415. So you can make different decimal format objects for different patterns. Again, we wanted the string to have four um, places after the decimal versus two, so we made two different objects. Otherwise, you can just keep using your object over and over like I showed you. I hope this video was helpful um, in terms of showing you how to use the decimal format object and give you a little bit more control in your code. Uh, have a beautiful day. Thank you. Happy coding.